Oh, thank you. Gosh, I don't think I've received a welcome like that before. Thank you. No, I cannot tell you how excited I am to be here. It is such an honor. And looking around the room, seeing all these beautiful young women, I bravo to you people. <laughs> You're clapping, but bravo to all of you and to the organizers. Women have been contributing and will continue to contribute to the socioeconomic development of our societies. Yet, there is still a growing gender divide and they are underrepresented in almost all spheres of development, such as science, technology, engineering, politics, and so on. Women are most often than not left out of the conversation and thereby being excluded from creating the innovations shaping the future. In recent times, however, we have been witnessing ripples of change, and women are getting more ambitious. But clearly, we still have a long way to go. We must therefore be innovative in exploring new ways of working and thinking, and we must agree that no woman can do it alone. We have to work together, because it is in that collective action that we can realize our full potential. To achieve the world we want, which is equality and progress for all, it requires our collaborative, coordinated, and concerted efforts. History has shown that when women support each other, good things happen. We must learn to support each other despite our differences. Yes, it won't be easy because society is not our biggest supporter, but with determination, hard work, and positive thinking, we will slowly but surely get there. The theme of this year's International Women's Day, Think Equal, Build Smart, and Innovate for Change, couldn't have been more appropriate for this exact program. I therefore urge each one of us to be a role model to girls and other women reach out and be a solution for change, not the problem. Innovation, we are aware, is playing a key role in advancing gender equality. I therefore enjoin the global community, our partners in development, to further harness technologies that will improve the lives of girls and women by listening to them, including them, increasing their choices, and most importantly, optimize investment in them. Women in the Gambia are now increasingly begin, being given equal opportunity in leadership namely the Vice Presidency, the Speaker of the House of Parliament, Cabinet Ministers, and Ambassadors like my humble self. <laughs> to conclude, ladies and gentlemen, I believe the objective of the GPWL has been achieved and I therefore hope that during this one week you have all been inspired enough to commit, uncomfortable enough to make a difference, informed enough to act, confident enough to lead and connected enough to succeed.